sparring goals. Coach O'Neill from Mendoza Boxing Club always telling me to move my feet when I'm sparring. So I'm going to work on that today. See if I do it. I hurt my right hand four weeks ago and I haven't really been uh, sparring since. So I just wanted to uh, get comfortable with it again and work on it by trying to land it and setting it up with the lead hand. I was trying to set up a right hand up top with that jab to the body and I think so was he. Ooh, good left hook counter. I made the mistake of dropping my right hand when I jabbed, but he caught the timing of my jab. So that's why here, that's why I start feigning, trying to throw a jab from a different rhythm. Just, I know he's waiting to counter it, right? Now I can just feint my jab, uh, feint the lead hand, so then that sets up the right hand. Beauty, feels so good landing that right hand again. Okay, okay, now he's turning it around on me. He's letting me set a uh, rhythm and then counter with a faster rhythm. If your opponent has a slow rhythm, counter with a faster rhythm. If he has a fast rhythm, break his rhythm with a slower one. You can't break your opponent's rhythm with the, with the same rhythm because you'll both be on the same wavelength and in a way it's kind of just like you're allowing each other to flow. Me and my brother man we're just trying to break each other's rhythm. I'm trying to I'm trying to set my rhythm and set and break my own rhythm to, to disrupt him. I can hear myself breathing deeply. I think I'm, uh, I'm gassed out, or I'm, I'm gassing out. I just came back from the flu as well, so like I, I know, I knew what I knew coming back. Oh, nice! So he caught my jab, flipped through a right uppercut, a left hook, right hook, and ended it with a jab. He caught me off balance, out of position, with my hands down, and punished me hard for it. Damn it, that was a big combo. Gotta get that back, I gotta get that back. I'm egging him to attack so he can make a mistake. That's Judge Holden. He's a registered amateur boxer in uh, Canada. And um, he's got a lot more experience than I do. I think, I, I think I'm doing a good job uh, with my defensive footwork so far. Nice jabs by me. I need to be very careful. That kid's uh, holding very quick to counter punch with a very speedy combination. I'm getting a sense he's uh, waiting for me to overreach with my jab. That was a great combo you guys can use. Use the left hook to pull down the guard, create space for your right hand to squeeze through. I'm controlling the range very well. Good counter. He used my jab as an entry point, countering with an uppercut to the body and a rear hook up top. Just like what my brother did in the first round. That's actually a Mendoza Boxing Club um, staple. I'm sure Coach O'Neill and, and the YouTube channel Mendoza Boxing Club, I'm sure he's got that somewhere in a lesson.
great jab. He misjudged the jab and tried to do the same thing earlier, but this time I was prepared for him. It looks like he's rethinking his whole uh, jab counter scheme. If you find it annoying that I'm clapping after landing a combination, uh, don't worry, you're not the only one. I'm, I'm annoyed too. I was worried coming back from a really bad flu that my cardio was going to be terrible. I can't tell if that counter left hook landed, but I feel like I'm missing a step on that. Maybe a, uh, like a, like a stepping back, like on, on an angle step. I'm breathing hard again, and I think the cardio is starting to go. I'm happy to see that I'm able to time him with my jab. Judge Holden uh, is usually very elusive. And um, uh, by the way, if you know Judge Holden, you know. If uh, any, any readers of uh, McCarthy out there, Right in the comments. Uh, yeah, this is my second round with uh, Holden, and we went we went right after that uh, previous round just now. Looks like he's coming out more aggressive with his combination. Ooh, nice shot! And uh, I don't, I don't, I, I'm seeing less and less defensive footwork by me. I think that has something to do with uh, just the cardio. I think. He learned something from the first round. Now uh, he's adjusted in this round. Now it's my turn to adjust to him. But I gotta dig deep for it because I'm gasped, man. Word of advice uh, for anyone there, when you're, if you're cutting weight, take vitamins, take supplements. It's gonna help you uh, stay healthy because when you're losing weight, you're technically like dying. Your body is dying. You know, that's how I got sick. I was trying to cut weight, and then, you know, before Christmas for the holidays, and I got sick because my body was just weak. He blocked that three, but I know he's feeling that. Good counter by him. Nice jab by me. That's probably why I'm gassing out too. I talk a lot in there. That's a great jab. Great shot. That's the exact same counter earlier that him and my brother landed. Slip, uppercut, and rear hook up top. I need to find the counter to that counter. Or maybe just uh, at least like be more vigilant about it. Stay tuned for part two to see Jid versus Holden. Holden versus Dechoi and Jid versus Dechoi. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ho, ho, ho.